Ben have been living on narrow boats for about 11 years, this coming November, um, and with our daughter for the past two years and seven months. Yeah, we, we love the boat life, you know, being connected to water. This is the only area that you could afford a, a waterside home, so we've got premium spot. I think that if you were to ask um, me if it had been a challenge to be a, a, a mother on a narrow boat, I think most mothers, new mothers, certainly without any family nearby, would say that the first time a child comes into the world it's quite a challenge, but I think on the boat the hardest challenge has been the sort of physical demands of, of carting child across a, a set of lock gates and, and being in a very sort of, you know, um, environment that other people might frown upon being a dangerous environment once that once our child started to walk. Um, but however I think that uh, if I lived on a, a busy A road I'd have a set of different challenges so so for us you know you deal with what your environment has uh, and I think she's uh, she enjoys naming the wildlife with me and having swans to feed from her doorstep and blackberries to pick right in there in the garden or opposite on the towpath so I think it has a lot of different treasures to around us to live here on the boats. Facebook really, I started to use that once I became a mother and was feeding Willow through the night times and you know you'd be up maybe six times and think gosh am I really the only person sitting in a, on a winter's night shivering and feeding my child in the dark and I have to confess that I did use Facebook and uh, and message other mothers, oh you're online as well, message them and say oh are you up at this time in the hour as well, two o'clock in the morning. So it was a real connection to realising that you weren't the only person doing what you were doing at that very moment. So Facebook's actually been really useful to me becoming a mother. I think the feeling of isolation when you first become a mum and you don't have immediate neighbours, uh, it makes you feel included and it makes you feel connected to other people going for a similar experience. Um, so I found that um, Facebook is a good way to create a social circle and to bring, um, uh, to, to bring people together in you know, a, a tea and cake situation with the kids so they've got each other to connect to and play with and uh, I think if I didn't if I hadn't used Facebook, I would have had, le I feel I would have had less invitations uh, to the mum and baby things that were going on. So uh, actually we're, Willow and I are very socially connected now in the area. We've got some lovely groups of friends that we regularly visit. Um, so it's been, it has, I actually have to say Facebook's been a, a real um, necessity for me over these, certainly the past kind of year and a half, the first year and a half of, of Willow. We have people that um, go up and down the, on the canal and they use Facebook, for example there's a, um, a pump out boat, or the poo boat as we like to call him, which is um, a guy with a, a, an old working boat similar to this but without the top on, with a whole bunch of tanks on the front of his boat and he goes around and he pumps people's toilet out for a living, um, which is actually a very useful service because some boats have integral tanks for those, some of them you can, it's like a bucket and you can carry it off yourself. Uh, but he'll create a, um, a status on Facebook that lets all of his clients know, or all the boat community know where he is. So if you're going to be caught short, then you know you don't have to keep your legs crossed for too long because he'll be on his way to, to pump out the toilet for you. So actually, it, it's wonderful because if you think of the old working boat histories of dealing, carrying cargo up and down the canal, you know, it's, it's a real, this is a real modern twist on it because now he's, you know, he's taking that sort of domestic yuckiness and turning it into a business for himself. <laughs> <laughs>